Hey guys, welcome to Akashic Affirmations. My name is Angel and I'm here to give Gemini a reading. This is going to be all placements, guys. And I invite most highest loving possible angels to help me to tune into your love, guidance, frequency, and messages. And so it is. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Gemini. Please give Gemini the most accurate and present messages available, Spirit. We love and thank you for your guidance, guys. And so it is. What is up with you? We're here to give you a black light reading. This is going to be a special reading using the black light tarot. I do have the Moonology as well as the Archangel Michael. Um, we'll see what goes on. So, guys, hello, hello. Okay, so let's start over. Let's see what is going on for the sign of Gemini. All placements. Okay, here we go. Page of Swords, there has been, you've been learning from some type of problem. Let's see what this is about. Okay, this is about too many burdens, uh, too many actions that are laid upon your chest. Okay. You may be dealing with uh, a Capricorn or I want to say, I, I want to say, because there is a couple here being chained and bonded by this devil. And this is problems for this couple who are chained to this devil. And all it's doing is stealing your mental thoughts. You see, your, your swords are your thoughts. So it could be robbing you blind uh, because they have addictions and it's just too many burdens on you. But we'll find out a little bit more, Gemini. Five of Pentacles, uh, you want to leave this person out in the cold, for sure. I think you're tired of dealing with them, because this is Pentacles, so this is the money, this is finances, okay? This is something that's tangible. Yeah, you want happiness when it comes to problems. You don't want to deal with anything. You are the emperor. You are strong enough to tackle anything that comes your way, I want to say. But when it comes to someone who has addictions, you tend to say, look, that's your problem. You're stealing from yourself. But you're now, <clears throat> excuse me, stealing my pentacles. My love is for myself. <laughs> so you're trying to make, and I'll, I'll take it because they keep making me stare at it. Yeah, you want a new path for this person. You want a new path for yourself and your mate where it does not inv um, involve this devil here. So guys, if you are unfamiliar with you, I, I mean, with me, excuse me, I, uh, re I don't read re reversals. I take them into consideration, but I don't lay them on the board. Uh, now, stealing, it, they're not putting the effort in, okay? Ace of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. If they are putting any type of movement and saying that they want to have the strength, okay, to not steal from you, 
they want to give a new advancement. You see the snake? They want to take the new initiative. Okay, this is the action card, brand new action. To conquer this you leaving them out in the cold. Okay, but this card says it all right here. They're not moving. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest, most pokiest, if moving at all, Knight of the Duck. So if there has been any type of movement, it has, towards this new beginning, it has been stagnant. It has been still. And it was remaining on the board when I picked it up. This person needs to give the new action to loving themselves instead of tippy-toeing around the subject. Okay? Tell me else, what else I need to know, Spirit. You need to walk away from this person and let the cups remain where they are and say to yourself look see that's the river of tears you're looking at all the cups that all the emotions that have been spilled with this person okay and i think it's keeping you stuck like oh but we have love back there behind us right but the cups are empty honey the cups are empty. So where they're, they're, you're just looking at all the mistakes and, and problems and time that you have been through with this person. You, and you're placing honorability on time, which is not true. This person has to be honorable admirable and give their own their self their own guidance and attention and a new tangible start right this is a new beginning but i'm actually gonna do it this time i'm gonna put the effort in not just saying and not doing i'm sorry guys i'm getting a little emotional here because i feel the animosity between you two and it's almost like a father figure that, you see, see, I see he's emperor, okay? It's almost like this person needs a father. Maybe they were, grew up without one and they don't know how to be a man and step up and to provide, you know, when you don't have a father figure in your life, the mother is the nurturer. She shows you she shows you exactly how to nurture yourself. Now if you have a mother that is the mother and father and she portrays herself as both, that's when the, the child turns out to be a, a admirable person. Okay? But when they don't have that that emperor, that person that shows what a man should do. They had nothing to stand upon. So I think that they refer to you as their father, as their provider. And this is where a child says, you know, a parent says to their child, look, you have to get unstuck. You being a child, look, and I'm nurturing you, I'm feeding you all of your happiness. The happiness is in that bouquet of flowers, okay? I'm handing you everything, darling, but you're still, see, I told you I was going to take this into consideration. You need to get yourself, see, this is stuck, bound, chained by your environment that you put them, them swords in. This person needs to loosen themselves up from the binds that they have their self trapped in or you. Okay, if this is, could be you, okay, 
and this person does not want to do anything, it, then it's you that has to give your new beginning. You see, because you see what's, what's in line here. The devil, the path, right? That's the path. That's the two of wands chosen. And the lovers, okay? See how there are two people in here? That's how you're going to tackle this problem. There is a brand new beginning. Now, I'm not sure if this is... I don't see the moving card, but there's something that's getting ready to change. Or that can change if maybe you open your mouth or, you know, there's something that can throw, they're showing me throwing a monkey wrench in this person's gears that are spinning. You know, when you throw a monkey wrench into gears, what happens? Everything stops. Bottom of the deck. Arguing about actions, always. Everybody fighting over their own agendas. Look, they all have wands. There must be more than one person here. Manifesting wish fulfillment. Oh my gosh, so there's been argument over there's something if you stand into your power these people are arguing over who is going to get to you first for their wish fulfillment it's either that see your intuition's telling you but you're not listening there's people fighting over their own causes. Okay, this is actions not panning out. And there's other people involved. The magician manifests. <coughs> Excuse me. He has all the tools that he needs in his arson. In other words, these people are going to manifest what they need because you know what I see here I see jealousy full blood jealousy I mean you're looking at the seven of swords you're looking at the five of wands you're looking at the eight of swords stealing everybody fighting being stuck look too many burdens because the center of the reading is you need to take a different path and your intuition's been telling you see that high priestess but you've been working hard on yourself because you you want a new beginning but you've been waiting on the cycle to complete with the world here but guess what? Nobody's created a tower yet. Nobody's created a tower where nobody's coming crashing down. They're all still sitting in your castle. Look, unable to move. Unable to see the light of day. But you're going to have to show them because you're the one with the enlightenment. This is being single and doing it for yourself, but not really being single and not really having to spend your money by yourself and not having the karmic balance that is required to keep your environment in the upright position. This is your environment. This is your home. Holy moly. You're not giving the action. You're not seeing the things done in the dark. You're not giving the time and investment. You're just sitting there holding on to these people. Not giving the initiative. I mean, I, I can go on and on and on. You're not awakening. 
You're not being the wounded warrior. You're getting yourself through this. You're not giving yourself the love. Look at a king of love. You're not giving the love and advancements towards a commitment to yourself and your God. The Hierophant. By nurturing, look at the tippy-toeing situation with other people. You need to teach other people. This is people teaching other people how to do things. You need to teach them how it works. Make that difficult decision. Look at this. This is not giving communication to these people who need it because you're the provider. You don't have it to give anymore. This is having it to give. This is not having it to give. Look at you. You need all these swords to fall out your back. You need to go on to more calmer waters and you're not. You need to say with your mouth that you want out. Look at that. Say it. See the sword of truth in the hand? You need to say it so you can have peace. Wow. See, this is the loving action for your twin flame. You need to give this information before you lose your friend that's wanting to give you a new beginning. All right, guys, that has been your reading. I can quickly get you, uh, we'll see what the Moonology doc says. Yes, direct me to the Moonology. All right. Give me three quick, quick, <laughs> quick messages for the sign of Gemini. All placements. Thank you very much, Spirit. <clears throat> um, they're telling they're telling me someone's not praying. So I would do so. Alright guys. Oh, they tell me to do this and it will come out. It's a time for healing. And there it is. <clears throat> Bring love into the situation. Surrender to the divine. There's something here where you have to surrender. Give them all of these thoughts. Give your whoever you believe in all of these thoughts, guys. Because the angels can only help. And the universe can only help when we allow them to. So guys, if this reading resonates with you, please smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't. All right, guys, I love you and good luck with this. Namaste.